Now that we have an idea of some of the parameters that we may use to classify a specific document, we also have to look at the different roles and responsibilities of people who will either use or affect that document over its lifespan. First and foremost, there is the owner. The data owner is always going to be a member of management, typically upper management, that is responsible for the data security, for the security of that particular object. Regardless of its classification, the owner is responsible for maintaining the security of that data object. Now the custodian is the person who will actually implement controls on that object, make sure that the owner's recommendations or the owner's requirements are carried out. Now notice that we have responsibility here put in two different categories. Although the custodian is responsible for implementing the controls and for maintaining the data object, it is the ultimate responsibility of the owner to ensure that the custodian does his or her job. Then we have the user. The user is the one who routinely uses the data. In the context of an organization, the user is still responsible and holds responsibility toward the classification of data and security of the data because the user always needs to access data through the context of the security policy. We will be discussing security policies in depth, and it is the policy that allows the user to access data, which also controls the method in which the user accesses that data. So if we look at all three of these together, the user does routinely use data through the controls that the custodian implements based on the requirements set forth by the data owner.